In this video, I'm going to show you our new voltage drop calculation. But before, you must have some values in your switchboard. And I have created this tiny, tiny system schematic here. And uh, for example, this SP 10.1, here is power values and you must have power values for performing voltage drop calculation and they are given for example in here and you must have at least one case power value given so voltage drop calculation calculates voltage drop using max active power so here you need to have some value okay and for demonstrating i have placed here only to case one so some power values okay and then i also have placed here cable this cable and here much more thinner cable so we can check the results and we can perform voltage drop calculation and here you give line to line voltage and you give warning limit to your voltage drops and calculation range is given here offset charge range and how you want to uh, what you want to include to calculation okay and then I'm going to select switchboard I'm going to select this one so it automatically uh, takes all the switchboard that are under this switchboard to calculation and by pressing enter it performs calculation and here are results and as you can see here where the cable is where the cable is very thin the warning limit is exceeded and the voltage drop is huge and here is much more better.